So I always say that Disney and denim is almost always a good combination. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, we're in the Commonwealth Cabin, and I'm so glad that I started doing this a couple weeks ago. I started doing a little bit of shipping on Saturday evenings, just a little bit, you know, pick a couple tough items and throw them out there and get them done and package up a few in the man and get that stuff all done. And it makes my life a little bit easier on Sunday evenings, which is when I'm doing this. And you guys will probably watch it on Monday. And I've asked this question before, but I'm always curious to know what is your plan of attack? If you're like me, if you're a part-time reseller, if you have an, another job somewhere, do you do your shipping on Sunday evening or do you wait? Do you do it early Monday morning? Do you do it Monday evening from the weekend? How is it that you do it? Are you setting it up two-day shipping, three-day shipping? I'm always curious to know the different strategies. I've usually just waited from Friday to Sunday night and then done all my shipping on Sunday. But I really like the idea of coming in on Saturday and getting a little bit done and getting a little bit ahead. Now I don't have quite as much to do and make my life a little bit easier. So let me know out there. Hey, second thing I want to talk about really quick before I tell you what sold is Christmas. So Q4 is coming up and I wanted to ask you a question. I wrote myself a little note because I forget everything these days. And the note just said Christmas on it. And that was a good way to remind me to ask this question. So as a, not a new eBay reseller, but somebody who wasn't selling on a huge scale, I remember entering Q4 years and years back and looking at my PayPal balance and thinking to myself, you know what, I want to pay for all of Christmas with PayPal. I don't want to use a credit card. I don't want to go into debt for Christmas. I don't want to do any of that. And I'm just going to use PayPal. And it motivated me to get things listed and to sell. And then in January, I wanted my PayPal account to actually be higher even after using all the money that was coming into PayPal to pay for all of Christmas. And then ever since, years and years and years, I've never had to pay for Christmas in February. So it's just something to think about. And I'm curious to know out there how many of y'all push really hard to make sure that you're not paying for Christmas in February by listing like crazy in September. So let me know if that's you out there and leave a comment below and I'd love to hear from you. But let's take a look at what's up. Come on. <laughs> All right, I am not going to pull this thing up and hold it up. I'm just going to show you the little picture here. This is an old Fisher uh, FM9025. And this one sold for $30 plus shipping. I bought the whole unit. There's four pieces to it and the manuals and everything. And I think I've sold one already. Sold a pamphlet for one, an accessory. I can't remember. But bought it for all for $15. Bucks. And I remember buying it going, do I really want to buy this? Do I really want to deal with it? It's one thing selling electronics and going through the hassle of shipping them for a good money. You know, $100, bucks, 200 bucks. That's one thing. But finding things like this, in this case a receiver, and only getting $30 plus shipping... It's not too great, but you know what? I'm happy it's gone and we'll make some money on it. I think we have already broke even, so this will be pure profit. We'll make $25, maybe a little bit less, $24 on it. And it'll take a little bit of time to ship out. I typically try to pass up on the low end stuff. You don't see me sell a ton of electronics around here. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I don't find high end audio equipment very often. And maybe it's something I need to be looking for a little bit more than I do because there are some really good money if you're willing to go through that hassle. All right, you know, I teach AP World History. And so we try to put America in the global scope of history as opposed to looking at America from American eyes. And when we do that at the end of the year, we talk about the Americanization of the world. Sometimes we call it the coca colization of the world. And I try to give people a perspective, the kids in my class, a perspective of how much the 20th century really truly was an American century, especially the second half of the century, but really going back before that. And I use the examples of Babe Ruth and Elvis Presley and Levi Jeans and Coca-Cola and Disney. And this one's got, you know, the denim and the Disney. And I thought when it was bought that it would probably go to East Asia and it didn't because this is Disney stuff and Disney's popular all over the place, obviously. But people love Disney and they love denim. It's like Americana all over again. 
And so when I saw this at the sale, and I think it was I couldn't stop buying at this sale, and she had great prices, I'm like, well, that thing is going to sell. And I waited. There was tons of watchers on it, and I didn't budge off the price. $30 plus shipping for that one. And it's pretty cool. It's in good shape. So I always say that Disney and denim is almost always a good combination. All right, sold one of these smudgers again. I'm selling these for $9 free shipping. We're already in the pure profit though. So these are decent little money makers. And for something as simple as this that you can just slide into a bubble poly mailer, you know, you're making pretty good money at nine bucks a pop, even though it's free shipping. We went over it the other day, so I won't break down the numbers for you. But let's just say that that little buy is gonna net us over $150 profit on something really simple that's just two listings. And somebody mentioned the other day when I talked about it that I didn't explain what it was. So it's just this little thing that you use to clean off touch screens, whether it's iPhones or iPads or any kind of tablet. And supposedly it cleans it effectively and keeps it safe. I don't know. I just use a tissue half the time, but it works. I just sold a little Wii Active here, game and belt. It comes with a strap, some kind of band as well. And I didn't list with it, and then I found it later. I'm like, oh, I'm going to add that with it, and then it sold without it. So I probably, because it's really, really light, will just throw it in there and make the buyer really happy, I suppose. Anyways, $13, $12.95 plus shipping. It's all pure profit at this point. All right, I have three things. I think one in the back back here, and this is an item that I've been talking about for quite a while, and it's dwindling down. We've clearanced them out. We've put a nice little sale on them. And we're only making about $2.50 a piece at this point. I'm glad they're almost gone. All right, here it is right here. So look, what do we got? Pink in there. So we've done okay on these. My wife bought quite a few of them. And some of them we were making seven, eight bucks profit. Now this is making $2.50. But you know what? We've already made our money. And sometimes you just got to clear out the rest of the stuff, which is why this guy comes in handy, don't you? All right, next item is right here. And it's Redskin stuff, and it's not selling amazing. You know, everybody's like, buy everything Redskins. I just don't see it. But this one did sell. They're really light. They shipped out. They're going to go out. Uh, I think I did free shipping on them, but it's $25 free shipping, and they should only cost about $7, $8 to ship. Maybe. I'm not even sure. They're really light. They might be under 16 ounces combined, but it's going to be close. Let's give it a shot here and see. My guess is... They're going to come just under, but maybe not. You put a Bali bag with them. Let's see. One of them's going to weigh. Look at that. But it's on that. I'm going to move that off there. Oof. I think it's going to work. I think they're going to go out first class. Put those two in a big poly bag right here. I think the biggest one I have here is going to fit. I have two larger sizes that I store inside, but squish them down. Eh, maybe. We'll see. I think they'll go out first class. So $25, you know, shipping on there, maybe around five or six bucks. And we paid a couple dollars for them. So we'll make a little bit of money. All right, the next item's over here on this wall, but I turned this TV on so I wouldn't forget to do this. My buddy over there, OBX Picker, he is almost at 1,000. So if you want to go put him over the hump right there, go check him out. This is Sunday, so by Monday, he might already be there. And look at this, here you go. What has he got? What are you giving away? Picker, get 1,000 subs before next week and do this. Okay. All right, good luck to you. Here you go. This is what sold right here. And I almost didn't buy it at a sale. I paid 10 cents for it. And I thought it was pretty funny. You know, you put this on the bathroom there in the outhouse. It says 1943 copyright. But I, this wasn't made in 1943. I don't think it was anyways. And you just <laughs> doing my chores, taking a nap. <laughs> Just resting. What's that one say? This gadget's out of whack. Go in at your own risk. Oh, boy. All right, so I bought it, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just put it up in the cabin. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, I kind of put this old stuff over here, and I just think it's kind of cool. I have one more that I put over here somewhere. Here it is. I don't know. I just like it. I don't know why, but I do. But it sold. Bought it for $0.10. Cents, sold for $10 plus shipping. It's really light. All right, and there's a few things that sold inside. Not too many. I think three things and then a couple of Animan, of course. And Turner has to tell us what sold. Maybe we'll bring him in right now and then go into the eBay cave. All right, we have a homeschool hustler and we have Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> All right, and we made a couple of sales today, Turner. We sold Indominus, Indominus Rex. Did I pronounce that right? And then what is that? A Triceratops right there. 
We sold these out of your store. Check that thing out. What do you think? You like that? Yeah. The thing roars, except for I think I took the batteries out. <laughs> yeah, I got a new suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. What suit is that? Um, the Spider-Man PS4. It's actually called something else, but I forgot. And you got that for your birthday, didn't you? Yeah. What did you turn, five? Um, seven. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Yep, seven years old. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I like it. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Somebody sent you something, which is really awesome. Yeah. And this one right here sold for, I think, $8. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. And they came out of the Homeschool Hustler store, so Turner's going to get a dollar to, to do what? what do you Save, mean? I mean, a dollar to donate. <laughs> it doesn't matter the order, buddy. Dollar to save, spend, and donate. You got it. And we're donating. If if you saw the show yesterday, we're donating. The kids donate money to Compassion International and to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. But we added one just for this month, Turner. We're going to give to the Friends of Bedford Animal Shelter. And so $2 are going to go to them right there for this sale as well, including the other places. So you guys are really doing a great job. And, Turner, what did you really want for your birthday? Uh, uh, old Nintendo. Old Nintendo. He wanted an NES. Yeah. And so I've been looking and looking and looking. And, you know, I used to go out back in the early 2000s, Turner, and I would find one, two, three, sometimes four every single time I go out. It's like going out now and finding Wii's. And so I figured, you know what, I'll probably be able to find one this season. And the only one I found, Sonny had in his hands at a garage sale. So I called up my buddy Shad Juice right here. And his boy, uh, Mikey, and he made sure that Turner had one for his birthday, didn't yep. he? Yep, and check out what else they gave him. What do you think of all this? All that stuff was extra thrown in the box, which yeah, was really, was really from nice. McDonald's. What, what's that? One was from McDonald's. Yep, um, this, this this one, right? This yeah. one's from McDonald's. Yeah. And this one, look, 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 look. Mm. See that? Yeah. And then this one is an old one. And it spins around. I think that's from 1980s right there. Anyway, that's very kind of y'all. We appreciate it. And if you don't know about Chad Juice, he does garage sales. Go check him out. Tell him thank you, bud. Thank you, Chad Juice and Mikey. <laughs> All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Hey, sold a couple of backgammon replacement pieces. Make about two bucks when we sell those. And this was the last of 15. I don't know how long they've been around, but I bet it's been a while. A uh, staple here lately, a signature, Mary Kay signature cream licks lipstick. And this one is gingerbread. 12 bucks free shipping. It's all pure profit at this point. We have already made about $120 off of that lot. And it looks like about half of it, probably a little less than half of it. So we're going to be shooting for over $300 in profit. I think that video aired yesterday. So I think I said in the video, $150 to $300. But after it's all been listed, I think 300 is a is like a minimum on that one buy. It'll be more like 320 to 325, I think. Didn't even know I still had this. If you've been watching the show for a while, you saw me sell a bunch of vacuum cleaners. Usually I buy a bunch and then they sit and sit and sit and then in the summertime, I'm able to just in one day go through clean test, take pictures of everything, list them all. And then, because they're kind of a pain to ship, and you know, I want to have more time. And obviously, when school's in session, I have less time. So I try to sell most of that stuff in the summer, and I did. But one of the ones that didn't work, I parted out. And we still made some decent money. And this is a tiny, tiny little part here. And it goes to a Kirby, and I sold it for $7. So, you know, it's pure profit at this point. So it's probably, I don't know, three fifty dollars profit. Hey, t that reminds me, you know, tell me your when in doubt parted out stories. I haven't been doing too much of it lately because I don't have the time to go through and do as many listings. And when you part something out, you buy one item and you make five listings. It takes a little bit of time. But I'm curious out there and I see some messages from folks saying, hey, thanks, you know, for, for the advice on parting X out or Y out or whatever it is. And I want to know what it is you've been parting out lately and how successful have you been? All right, one guy going out to Ryan here. He says, hi, Kevin. This is a celebratory in a man purchase. I took your Bolo advice on Whore VHS. That's awesome. And scored a dozen of them for a quarter at a garage sale last weekend. I listed them today and much to my surprise, one of them flew out the door within 15 minutes for a nice $30 profit. I appreciate your channel and wish you and your family much continued success. Kind regards, Ryan. Ryan, thank you, that's awesome to know. I have been looking hard for another lot of VHS horror movies. Every yard sale I go to, you know, sometimes it's a waste of time to look at the VHS. 
but I've been looking. If I see some old VHS up there, I've been digging underneath it to see. But no luck lately, and I haven't had any luck finding any gold uh, or silver jewelry lately either, and I've been looking pretty hard. So, you know, you find what you look for, and sometimes looking for that stuff's a little bit better than looking for uh, green pickle containers, Tupperware, you know. Anyone going out to Catherine? Hi, Kevin and Homeschool Hustlers. I have been following your antics for about six months now. Thanks for all the tips and tricks. I am in the UK. Don't have a YouTube channel, but do sell on eBay. Catherine with a Y, 9001. 9001. Only part-time as I am disabled. I thought I had better get an Animan before they are all gone. I would prefer a mistake, but not a prime, a misfit. You'd prefer a misfit, but not a problem if I can't have one. God bless you and your family, Catherine. So I will try to remember to put a misfit in a man in there for you. We do appreciate it, and we wish you the best of luck. And uh, this guy is not a misfit, so he's not headed overseas. But one of them is. <laughs> Thanks so much. By the way, that's uh, awesome. You know, if you have a disability and you're still able to do some reselling, I think that is an awesome outlet. So congratulations to you. That is amazing. And, you know, I try to do that every once in a while. I'll pick something up at a garage sale that I wouldn't typically buy. Maybe I used to sell it, and I know you can make money on it, but it's not something I would typically do, you know. But not everybody out there can ship a lawn chair or ship a, you know, a VCR or whatever. But almost everybody can ship those smalls. So thank you, Catherine. Hey, this one's going out to Samantha. I watch all your YouTube videos. My cat even knows the tune at the beginning. I'm a reseller based in Minnesota. My eBay store is TC Bazaar. And I decided I needed one of these before they're all out. Fingers crossed it leads to record-breaking Q4 sales. Happy to support you and your family. Looking forward to more videos. So, Samantha, thank you so much. That's very flattering. I appreciate it. And he is headed your way. And we still have a bunch. It says 90 available. I'm telling you right now, if you need to wait for a little while, feel free. You know, there'll be enough. I'll give you an announcement. You know, hey, 50 left. And then you can buy them if you want. But we still have plenty to go. All right, last two. One's going out to Corey and one is going out to Owen. And Owen says, Hey, Commonwealth Picker, I just had to get an Animan for my reselling office to bring some good fortune. Just wanted to say thank you because I recently sold a Corningware 2.5 liter saucepan because of you. Shipped just fine. That's good because sometimes those are rough. You know, when I first sent out a few, you have some breaks. You really, you, you got to double box those things or uh, roll the dice. I watch a few resellers regularly, you, Matt, Lonnie, and John, and the knowledge and strategies you guys give is priceless. Ah, uh, that might be an overstatement, but thank you, I appreciate it. Just recently started a YouTube channel, Resale Dynasty, in hopes to become as helpful to others as you have been to us. Thank you again, happy picking, Owen. Owen, that's awesome, thank you so much. Resale Dynasty, all one word. That's awesome, I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Owen, appreciate it. All right, I don't know what else we have going on, but there's always something at the end, right? Could be, you know, pigs eating grass, you know, could be chickens running around, could be a cat, could be a kid, you know, who the heck knows. But anyway, thanks for joining us as always, and we will see you next time.